on my video today I have um, a couple of things to show you that I've bought over the past month or so some of my videos can be nice and short and some of them can be a little bit long and I can waffle a bit I have been watching um, a couple of videos on YouTube of people that have bought things over the past month and I said I would do the same I have bought a few things and um, from Tory Burch from Chanel and a little bit of makeup from one of my favorite stores that we don't have here in Ireland so you have to go but well, we do, I like There's one up in Belfast, but it's a heck of a drive. It's If you're in the UK, it's easier to buy them, put it that way. So let's get cracking on what I bought. The thing I bought was some pieces from one of my favorite designs, Tory Burch. Again, there's not a Tory Burch store here in Ireland, so you have to order online or buy when you're away. And there was a sale on last month, and this is terrible to say, I haven't even taken these out of the box. And I went online and I bought three items from Tory Burch and it came in a big brown box like this and her original orange packing, packaging and um, I'm just very impressed even when you buy them they come in their little pouches from the the website which is brilliant so that's two pieces there let me get rid of all this and then there's one big piece as well we'll put that down so um, they're only small they're not crazy expensive but I just said while they were on sale we don't always need them, but when we see them for that price, we just buy them. I'm not going to try and explain myself. The first thing is this gorgeous little wallet um, or a little purse. And I have the details here of what they are. And I think some of them are still actually available on the website. Um, this is the Robinson Floral Mini Wallet, it's called. And I have a couple of Tory Burch. I have a gorgeous peach bag that I bought, but I never have a small enough purse to go in it. Um, so I thought that would be such a good purse to go in so many things. And as you can see, I haven't even taken it apart yet. Oh, the inside of it is pink. Oh, I didn't know that. That is very, very cute. And it just has little compartments here for your cards and for your, your notes. And a little zip part as well. How cute is that? And that was really, really cheap. I think that was only, I think it was 75 euro. Yeah, it was. It was 75 euro and it was half price. I think it was originally 150 um, I bought them when a lot of them were 40 or 50% off. So I'm not 100% of the sale is still on, but check it out. The, even the website alone, the stuff is beautiful on it. I'm, I link anything I still can find down below. Love the colours and that. So that was the first thing. Um, the second thing was, oh God, I actually forgot what I bought. Isn't that terrible? Oh yeah. Phone case. Oh, I know why I bought this. Because I had a very good piece on it I think yes this is the sliding mirror phone case and I have an iPhone 8 and these I think are still available but this is what sold it for me and um, this was 47.50 again I think it was 50% off sorry about the light this part here oh here's a little mirror because how many times are you out anywhere and you're stuck you're you need a mirror if you've had something to eat and you want to check your teeth or you want to reapply a lip gloss or you just want to fix your hair I have one with me in my phone cool is that I know it's slightly sad but something like that really excites me and for 47.50 I think it's brilliant my Gucci phone case was a hundred and I don't know 75 or something and it has just a card slot but this I actually think this is much nicer and it's very robust it's very it's a really really hard shell case and the little Tory Burch logo there and I think it actually matches my wallet it's the little things that excite us isn't it and again I have a little I have a Tory Burch bag that that would be really, really nice with, but I would be using that, I think, all the time. I really like that. Oh, how cute. Okay, no waffling. That's the second piece. That was, what did I say, sliding mirror case. Um, and then this is the last one. I've, I kept looking online at this for ages and ages and ages. I have the bag of this. This is the Fleming medium pouch. I have the Fleming bag and I have it years and I love it. I love the price point of Tory Burch. I just think her quality is very, very good. Um, and these bags are great. I use these as well. I keep all my bags in these. And this is the Fleming Medium Pouch. Oh, turn it around the right way. It has the Tory Burch there. Oh, don't you just love that passion? That is exactly the same as my, my bag that I have. And it comes with a lovely little um, zipper holder thing on the end and the little Tory Burch charm. 
and when you open it, there's no strap on this, you can't wear it um, of your shoulder across or anything like that. Let me just take the package in it. I really haven't, I forgot about these. I bought these about a month ago. Take the paper out and there's no card slots or anything in it. It is literally just a pouch. It has a little um, pocket there and there's loads of room in it. So I would probably use that in my bag if I wanted to. Or to be honest, I'd probably just stick it under my arm if I'm going out anywhere. And it's definitely more of an evening one or if you're on holidays and the leather smells divine. That was 142.50, which I think is so cheap for Tory Burch and the quality of the leather. I think that was originally, I might've got 40, 50% off. I think it was 300 or 299, something like that. So yeah, those are my three Tory Burch pieces I got in Chanel. Um, when I was in Manchester with my daughter. I have a couple of Chanel necklaces. I don't know if you can see that one. That's my little silver one. And I have a black one as well. I originally had the earrings to match this, but constantly the stones kept falling out when I was back in to Chanel and changing them and nightmares. So um, I've been on the lookout for years for a really nice pair of Chanel earrings that would go with this pendant and the other black one I have as well. And these the guy took them out for me. They never have a great selection in Dublin, to be honest. So when I was in Manchester, I went into the Chanel store and I asked the guy what he had and he took out loads. We don't we didn't really have that many the last time I looked. So that's the little cardy thing it comes with. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see these with the light, but I will certainly try my best. These are, oh, you can, the Chanel CC logo earrings in cream and gold. And they had them in black as well, but the black didn't stand out as much. These ones really, really stand out with the CC without being too big. I mean, they are quite a small earring, as you can see. Um, I just thought they were classic and I would be able to wear them with everything because of the color of them. And it doesn't give, obviously, a name or anything like that. And I bought them in the concession, the Chanel concession in Selfridges in Manchester. They were 275 pound, which I think when I looked at my receipt in Euro, it worked out about 325 or 320 pounds or something like that, which is, I know, crazy expensive for costume pieces, but the fact that I've always wanted a really nice pair of Chanel earrings, I probably won't buy another pair for a long time. You can just see the, the gold CC there, and yeah, I think they're really, really pretty. Um, I'd like to have a nice collection of them, maybe one pair a year would be nice, wouldn't it, to change around. And, and these are actual diamond earrings I have that my husband bought me for Christmas a couple of years ago. So it's crazy that I'm going to take out diamonds and put in costume, but sure. A bit mad like that, aren't you? So are some cosmetic and makeup pieces that I didn't need. But when you have one of these in Manchester and you're walking by it, you're never going to say no. Even when I went up to Belfast last year for my passport, when I see one of these stores, I gravitate towards it. Who doesn't? It's like a Sephora, isn't it? Um, and they're so cheap. and. 90% of the items you buy in it are great. I love their nail varnishes. I love their eyeshadows. Um, not a lover of the mascara. So there is some things in it that are hit and miss, but for the price, it's brilliant. Um, I bought, this is really good. This is their face powder, and I use this every day because it is cheap and cheerful. This is the Weightless Perfection, and I always carry one of these around in my bag. And it has the little kind of compartment there. Oh, classic just fell out. And I actually would use that as a setting powder more than anything. Um, you can obviously build it up and use it as a foundation, but as a setting powder, which is great, I use that all the time. And I buy a couple of them. I actually bought one, I should have bought two. And that's in WR120. And it's very cute in your bag whenever you're taking it out to fix your makeup and that kind of thing. I also bought, I can't remember what I bought. We'll soon find out when I open it. I bought 3D Hydro Lip Gloss. I have tons of these. When we walked in, my daughter says to me, you don't need any more lip glosses. Shouldn't have brought her with me. Who says things like that? But I bought some anyway. And oh, I don't actually have this colour. This is number 27. And they last for ages. And they're very, very hydrating on the lips. I love them. Um, so that's like um, a sparkly, purpley colour. Didn't need it, but... Who says things like that? You don't need it. And lip gloss. then when I was coming home in the duty free, I bought um, my Chloe Nomad in a body spray. Just to have something else in the Chloe, the Nomad I absolutely love. And that was a little body spray that was only about 20, 20 pounds sterling, I think, 20 euros, something like that. And when I'm in the department stores here in Ireland, I've never seen it. So that's the reason why I picked it up, just to have a little something else in the, the Nomad to put in with my perfumes. 
And then two other things I bought, I didn't buy away. I bought these over the past month. I have heard great things about this. My daughter uses this concealer and I haven't used it yet. So I will certainly review it and tell you what I think of it because I have such bad dark circles under my eyes. No matter how much water I drink, no matter how much sleep I get, I don't know if it's hereditary, but I can never get rid of them. So I'm constantly on the lookout for the best concealers to hide the aging bags under my eyes. Um, and this one I've heard great things about. And as I say, it's a NARS. This is, I don't <clears throat> know what color. I think she might have said custard, is it on it? Oh yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, medium one custard in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And let's hope this is a miracle worker for all areas of my eyes because God knows I need it. So I will do a review. I'll tell you what I think of it. I might do a review on some of my other concealers and let you know um, what I think of this one. But I've heard great things about it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let me see how I get on with that one. And this, I wanted something kind of nice in my bag. And I bought, if you've watched my previous video, I've bought a Dior bag. Believe it or not, I bought this before the bag. So um, this is, I want. I originally use, I'm waffling again, I know. I use, originally, normally use the Chanel um, compact powder when I'm going out anywhere and I pop it in my bag. I just think it looks nice if you're taking it out or anything. I know, I know, I know, crazy aren't we? And this is the Dior, Dior Skin Forever Tint Compact Perfection. And the lady did say the same to me. You can build this up and use it as um, a powder foundation if you wanted to. And the cute little velvet pouch and the gorgeous little navy dior kit it comes in oh that's so sweet i forgot about that so that's it comes with a little mirror oh look at that sponge tiny little sponge it comes with which is very very cute and that's it there so and then what i thought was really good i think you can actually yeah you can take this part out and just keep this and just keep buying the actual um powder which i think is brilliant it saves you buying this every time because I think this was about 56 euro or something like that. So it's much handy. That's quite a nice colour. I might start using that from tomorrow. I have my makeup done for today. Um, yeah, and this part, I think it just pops out. We're not going to try it because normally I would probably break. But you can see at the back there, minus all my hand marks, that just pops out. So yeah, I might do a review on that and see what that's like on my skin as well. I always need a good setting powder because even at my age in my 40s, I still have really, really greasy skin. And I like to set my face with something really... Um, mattifying and something that's going to hold my makeup all day so i think that's everything i bought that's enough really isn't it for the past month um yeah thanks so much for clicking on my video um you'll probably see a lot of these um items i've bought now on my instagram i'll be i'm glad i did this video because eventually i was able to use everything and take everything out of the boxes as i say that tory brooch i've had for the past month and i haven't even used it so i will from this week onwards so thank you so much for clicking on my video. My subscribers are going up, up, up. Thank goodness, I think I'm nearly on 1100, which for me is huge. I know some people, as I said before, in their thousands, but for me to be heading towards the 2000 is just big, big deal for me. And I thank everybody so much for clicking on my video. I would love if you are a first time to see my videos. I'm sorry if I waffled, because I do that a lot and I'm doing it now. But I would love if you hit that subscribe button um, comment down below and um, anything I have here I will try to link and I will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye